Hi, this is Philip Byrne for Phonescoop.com, and today I'm taking a look at the Casio G's One Brigade. And of course, the main selling point for the Casio Brigade is that it's a rugged and even a waterproof phone, and it's one of the only waterproof phones on the market, and certainly the only one with a full QWERTY keyboard inside. Now, if you need a waterproof phone and you're really into text messaging and email, the Casio Brigade might really be your only option on the market, so there really isn't much competition to consider. But that doesn't mean that this isn't also a full-fledged multimedia phone, and it gets access to all of Verizon's 3G VCast services, including the VCast Music Store, VCast Videos, it's got VZ Navigator on board. And for the most part, these features were kind of a flop. For regular old calling features, I was happy enough with the Casio Brigade. It's got these push-to-talk features so you can hit this big button on the side for a walkie-talkie. If you've got other friends on Verizon Wireless's push-to-talk network or if you want to communicate with your co-workers in the field. Once you get into the multimedia features though, it really starts to lack. The menu design wasn't very good. It was sort of confusing to, to browse through. I had trouble with the web browser, it really just didn't seem to work very well, even though it does have support for Adobe Flash Lite. I couldn't get any of the web pages to load properly, and the design is just really silly. It makes you jump through a lot of hoops, and it's very sluggish as you can see here. The phone does have some other multimedia features too. It's got a music player on board so that you can play your music or buy tracks from the VCast Music Store. VCast Music Store really isn't a very good experience. It's kind of slow and sluggish and the tracks are kind of pricey. They cost two dollars each whereas the com competition is really selling music for about a dollar. So for multimedia features the phone was kind of a bust but one place where it did succeed was that it had a pretty good camera. I was pleasantly surprised with the quality of the camera. Here you can see you can use this tiny little passive matrix OLED screen, this monochrome screen on the outside as a viewfinder. Works much better though if you just use the internal screen. It's got a nice shortcuts menu and the pictures and video I took with this camera were actually pretty good, surprisingly good, especially compared to some of the other Casio G's One phones that I've tried in the past. And really, if you have an outdoor phone like this that's waterproof and rugged and meant to be taken outside, the camera really should be the best thing on it. I don't mind that it doesn't have good multimedia and good music playback, but I'm really happy to find that it has a good camera. One feature that I kind of liked was that it lets you use this LED on the back as a flashlight, which seems like a useful feature. It doesn't get the compass that we had on the Casio G's One Boulder, and that was a nice feature, but navigation works fine too. It's got VZ Navigator for navigation. I wish it had some trail maps and some more outdoor features for navigation, but for turn-by-turn -turn driving directions or to look up local movie times, it works pretty well. I was also happy with the QWERTY keyboard on this phone. If you're going to make a rugged phone with a QWERTY keyboard, it better be easy to use with work gloves or on the go. And the keys were nice and big. They have a nice, good raised texture and they were easy to type on. Very comfortable for typing. I didn't have very many typos and I was pretty happy with it. So all in all, I think the Casio Brigade really gets it right in a few key areas that count. It's kind of disappointing as a multimedia phone, but you can't argue with its ruggedness, its durability, it's great for waterproofing, and in a lot of ways it delivers. And more importantly, it just might be the only choice on the market if you're looking for a waterproof phone that can really handle messaging and email the way you want. For Phonescoop.com, this is Philip Byrne.